welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, this is going to be a short exercise. <laughs> it's homework. No, no, it's not homework. Exercise, not physical. Uh, trust me, if you saw my belly, you'd know that I would never be doing anything physical. Oh, no, no, no. And it's based upon something that uh, I've kind of tested a few things. Uh, I'm always testing things out for myself to see how something new might be useful. Uh, for example, early today, I've got a, a clothes rack. Well, it's a towel rack in my bathroom. And it's just above the radiator, so my bath towel can you know, dry. And what I was doing is I was standing up straight, holding the rack, and just let my body go back a little bit. I tested it a little bit, you know, I was a bit confused, worried, confused, concerned that my body weight would just pull the whole thing off the wall, but it didn't. And it's really, really gentle movement. And I found that I did that a few times and I could feel, you know, the, my shoulders, my arms, my back, chest, stomach moving as well as my body you know my head was moving and focusing on those small movements was I mean, basically it's a mindfulness exercise and my mind calmed down so you know that is not what this recording is about but I'm just letting you know that's something that I did today which I found really useful. It was quite nice. Of course, make sure that if you do do something like that, that the whatever it is you're holding on to is going to take your body weight. Now, I wasn't pulling against it because I would pull the thing off the wall if I put all my body weight you know, against it. But I wasn't doing that. I was just being really, really slow and really gentle. Almost as if I felt like I weighed nothing. Which doesn't happen very often for me. So it was, it was quite nice. It was almost like being like floating, you know. Anyway, that's not what this recording is about. But that is a little bit extra that you might be able to give a go if you want now what we're going to do this is going to be a it's going to be negative thinking fumigation negative thinking fumigation so basically negative thoughts are you don't need me to explain what they are but I'm sure you agree, are just awful. Uh, really, all they do is hinder. They, they, all they do is make things worse. Negative thinking, just like positive thinking, has a huge impact on our lives. In fact, how what you think about affects every aspect of your life you could say in fact what you think about is your life it produces how you feel it produces your actions it produces all kinds of stuff therefore it's the most important thing I mean it can affect your physical health not just in a a psychological aspect of you know believing that you're going to recover 
believing that you're going to, you know, when you have the operation that you're going to get through it okay and you feel positive uh, or maybe you're going through uh, a period of medication and believing that the medication is going to help you and to heal you because possibly if the negativity kicks in you might not take the medication and there's the obvious stuff that you know the behavior as well things like i guess overeating over drinking smoking drugs all that kind of stuff due to what we think about creates that behavior which then can have a huge well probably will have an effect upon all of our healths depending on what we do i'm not talking from a uh, a perspective of you know uh, being high up and saying you should not do that be perfect like me because i'm not and i do lots of stuff that's bad for me so uh, you know i'm not perfect and never want to be yeah I do really really I'm working on this myself the positivity it's the most important thing that any of us can do for ourselves and it helps other people as well so I don't have anyone really around me to affect but if I did if I had kids if I was had a close family that I was involved in or if I had a job that I went to every day and I was around people then my mental state is really my you know, negativity, positivity whatever goes on in my head is going to have an effect on those people as it is I don't have much human contact which is fine with me but I have been in a situation where my negativity has been very I think unpleasant for other people and also other people have with me um, I mean I've worked with a few people that were very very negative uh, one one woman she actually it's been men and women I'm just saying this particular person was a woman she was reading and I really liked her actually she's a really nice person I liked her a lot she used to come in reading books on abuse like you know child abuse stories uh they were really popular a while back back in maybe 10 years ago whatever and lots of people were writing books about their childhood and they were really bestsellers and every day she was sitting there reading another one of those books and it was just her negativity levels were very high and you I'm not saying obviously you'd, you read what you want to read and that stuff can be really useful and therapeutic and cathartic lots of big words wasn't it but ultimately if that's if you do too much of that it's a lot of negativity that's been going into your into your mind so it needs to be needs to be at the very least balanced but I'd say it needs to be top heavy with positivity that's the goal <laughs> hopefully so um, anyway this even when I come on here to do a short exercise I still end up just waffling but there you go that's what you get with me it's uh, I give you my all you know, I could just come on there and say, now this is what you need to do and, and you know, pretend to be some kind of a teacher, but I'm not. I'm just sharing some ideas that hopefully can help. And based on the growth of this podcast, something's working somewhere because I get more and more people listening every day to this particular podcast and it is now my most popular podcast out of all of them it's not the most popular in overall stats yet but it's about 15,000 off and then it will be it will be the most popular it will be 
I think 300 and, I don't know, 339, 340,000 downloads so far from this podcast. As growing and growing. So thank you everyone. Right, I'm going to get on with it. What did I say the name of this was? So this is... Uh, fumigation, fumigating, fumigating negative thoughts. Now, our minds have all kinds of thoughts, you know, positive, negative. I reckon there's quite a few that are just neutral. You know, like, uh. <laughs> it's like, uh. it's like, it doesn't, you know, not really that bothered either way. It's just stuff that I've heard. And it hasn't really had an impact on my mind or my life. So we're not going to focus on them. We're not going to focus on the positive thoughts. We're going to focus just on the negative thoughts and fumigating them in the same way as you would fumigate a room full of fleas. And I've done that. I did it last year. Andre, my little boy, he's a ferret. Never had fleas. You know, I had him for five years. Last year was the first time ever. And I think he got them from the field, you know, from grass or something. And he brought them in there and they were everywhere. They really, you know, every room. Bedroom, you know, everything. And I didn't know what to do. Went to the vets and they gave him a thing for him, you know, uh, so that he didn't get fleas anymore. But they were still everywhere, all over the carpet and everything. So I had to research and I ended up getting these fumigation bombs, they were called. They're not really bombs. It's not a very nice word, really, when you think about it. It's, but that's what they called them, fumigation bombs. Basically, all they are is a can with a top. You know, you take the top off, but a can. You put, You place it on the floor. And generally, the size of my room would only need one, one can. And I did one in the bedroom uh, as well. And I think I did one in the hallway. So I put it into here. Had to leave the room for about an hour or two. And then I kept Andre out of the room for a good, like maybe three or four hours with all the windows open so that he didn't get any of those fumes. So the this fumigation can that we're going to use here for your mind is only going to affect the negative thoughts. So in the same way as if I got a flea can that wouldn't affect Andre or me. I mean, I had to leave the room as well. Um, one that literally I could sit in there, Andre could sit in there, and I could set off the fumigation bomb, and it would only affect and get rid of the fleas only negate the fleas but be okay for me that's the kind of uh, fumigation bomb that we're going to use for your mind okay so all we need to do is with your eyes closed I want you the, the can basically it's like a deodorant can really any can like that uh, kind of a some kind of aerosol can you place it on the floor and maybe you can see on the side of it it says um, negativity bomb or something like that you know it could say whatever it, fumigation negativity fumigator so that's the can you could have it to be the same size as a tin can if you wanted not tin can a paint pot you know on those t uh, paint cans you could have it that kind of size it's up to you either way it's going to do the job you know sizes and everything I keep saying it no one believes me but so what you do is you put this fumigation this negativity fumigator can on just place it imagine you're in your mind Place it on the floor. And all you need to do 
is just press the top okay just press the top and then it releases the spray that then gets rid of the negative thoughts so press the top and then you make sure you get out of there if you want just for now so you know it's it's fine for you to be in there but you know you can leave it to do its own thing you don't need to be there you can come spend some time with me leave that in your mind to completely get rid of those negative thoughts so we can have a little chat while that's going on it doesn't it only takes a few minutes really and once it's done because you're here with me now you know that that spray thingy is working it's magic doesn't need your conscious attention at all and it's just doing what it does just like when I did with the fleas I put it you know I put it in there I think I took Andre out for a walk as either that I'll just sit on the edge of the bed waiting which I couldn't be bothered so I I left it in the living room took Andre for a walk long nice long walk and then we came back and you know it was time for me to sort of because the spray doesn't last long it doesn't actually I think it's released within probably about 20 seconds if if not less you know it's maybe longer I don't know it's hard to know because I wasn't in there but I could hear it Um, because the first time I did it uh, I did it wrong and it went everywhere, but the second time I did it properly, and I, I realised that you just just press down on it. It's really easy, and knowing that it's happening is quite good. Even if there was a plane going past up up in the sky, not a lovely plane. How lovely! How time! What great timing! And. There was something comforting knowing that I was doing something. I was being proactive. You're being proactive by doing it, you know. Uh, but it's also it's quite nice because you haven't got you haven't really done anything. You just put a canister, a fumigate, negative fumigator, and you just press the top, and just left it to do its work. And I like that because I'm so lazy but at the same time I like to get things done so if you give me some kind of cleaning liquid that does the job you know you spray it on the surface counter or on the the oven or something like that it does the work it cleans it and then you all you got to do is just wipe it off I like that it's why I like washing machines I don't. I say I like washing machines. I'm. I'm not. I wouldn't date one. You know, I'm not love a washing machine. It's like, oh, I love you. But washing machines are great. Washing my clothes because I've I've washed my clothes by hand in the past. Uh, quite a few times, unfortunately, and it's it's really hard. And they never come out right, really. I think shirts are the only things that seem to come out okay. The, like, you know, like, um, you know, shirts as in, like, going to work shirts, those kind of things. The what things you wear ties with. <laughs> I suppose a shirt's a shirt, isn't it? But I used to do that by hand. But if you if you put it in enough cold water, rinse it enough times, it turns out fine. But I just didn't find it so much with other stuff. But the good thing with a washing machine, just like with, you know, these uh, spray things, is you just stick your stuff in the washing machine and it's, you put your, you know, your little, I used a little tablet, the plastic tablet things, the dissolvable ones, you know. Put that in there. Uh, one is enough for what I put in and then I just turn it on and the washing machine is just does its thing I ain't I haven't got to do anything and I like that I do and I close the kitchen door generally or close it up 
uh, pull it up it's because the washing machine does like to do a little dance like near the end you know when it's tumbling tumbling is that the right word you know when it's draining yeah draining and um, I know a little bit sometimes when you got this you put something in the washing machine and it's stained or you think oh, I wonder if the stain's going to come out of that t-shirt and you wonder, but you're not going to know until the washing machine's finished. It's a little bit like that with the fleas. Uh, it's just... I really, really was curious about how... What difference it would make. How could something that easy as just putting a, a, a metal aerosol canister on the floor pressing the top and then just leaving it to do its work could those changes happen just they happen and it's like, I was like is that possible that it really is that easy and um I was so surprised. I was so surprised because when I actually did go back into the room, the living room, because this is the this is the room I did first, and that was it. Never seen a flea since. They packed their bags and they were gone. I was like, wow. And I'd spent like probably two weeks trying to figure out what to do. And it was simple. It cost me about twenty pound or something uh, to do it, but it's like, oh wow. So there's something I suppose about n you believe in. Believe that something's going to happen, and it did. To have belief, once you know something does work, you believe it. And I suppose also if. I suppose you listen to me in the past and listen to other recordings that I've done and you've managed to relax and you've managed to reduce, uh, well, let's say increase your positive thinking and negative thoughts seem to dissolve away. Then you don't have to believe in anything because you know, you know what's what. You know, no, you don't need anyone to convince you that uh, these things work and that you really do have an amazing oh, an amazing way lots of different ways to make changes in how you think and feel and it's endless really but there's a certain uh, frame of mind that really helps this stuff uh, to give it energy, to help it along its way, you know. It's it's about being open. It's about having that open mind to be prepared for something that may be a little bit different from what you're used to. Yet at the same time, first of all, you know you've got nothing to lose. There's zero to lose the very worst thing that can happen by listening to my recordings is you feel a little bit more relaxed. That's the very, that's, that's not a bad situation. Um, my voice is getting all croaky. What's going on? I need a drink. I need some more water. So I think it's probably time we could just go and have a little look at your mind. And notice how you feel differently. So let's go and have a look now. So let's go back into your mind. Let's forget all the stuff I was talking about and just go back to where that canister is, where that little metal thing with the stuff, you know, when you press the top of the button, um, which was the negativity fumigator. So go back there. 
and just notice how you feel. Just notice how your mind feels right now. I'm feeling really calm. And you can just stay with that feeling. And of course you can you can listen to this recording as many times as is useful. It's always here, it's not going anywhere. I'm always going to be, well, I say always, you know, as long as I'm alive I will be around and this recording will be available for you to listen to. And it's also something quite easy that you can do yourself as well. It's almost... I suppose you could say the idea is now implanted. The idea is now activated. Which means that you can enjoy noticing more of the positive thoughts that you have. And one of the amazing things about positive thoughts is you feel really good you feel really good like it's a real it's almost like a little rush of dare I say happiness it feels nice and it doesn't cost anything you don't even have to leave your chair or your bed or your home to do this. You don't need any anything, you know, in order to do it. It's just a matter of closing your eyes for a few minutes. And something that I noticed is when I'm feeling more positive, when I'm feeling feeling more optimistic, I notice, I do, I don't know why, but I notice that things, um, some of the little things that I enjoy doing seem to heighten. So, for example... It might be as simple as watching something on Netflix. And I actually find myself getting excited about it. And really enjoying it. Or it might be playing with Andre. Or giving him a cuddle. And I just feel that extra, extra kind of gush of love. That's a weird word, gush, isn't it? But it's like an energy. It's almost like a an extra added on increase in I suppose it could say love I suppose towards him even though I love him anyway but it's a sort of an extra feeling that I have so it's nice I like it I'm feeling it now actually if I'm honest with you so I do this stuff when I do it. I don't just I don't just read off a piece of paper and I do the exercise when I talk. When I do a sleep session, I'm practically falling asleep. You know, I try and put everything into a recording when I make one. And 
a recording like this is only one that I would do when I f really feel enthused to do it. When I'm enthusiastic. That's all motivated. That's probably a better word, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to go. I want to thank you very much for listening. I hope that this has been of use to you. And as I said, you can re-listen as many times as is useful, as is needed. And thank you for listening. And if you, you know, if you're in a forum or if you're uh, on Facebook or whatever, where you're in a group that maybe could find this useful, then perhaps you could share it. I post all of my recordings onto Facebook on my Facebook page. So you could just perhaps share it on there or you could share my website. But anyway, thank you for listening. Remember, remember, remember to be kind to yourself, which is what you've just done for the last 30 minutes. So remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love.